Well, welcome to Boyce Thompson Arboretum, where today I'm meeting with Sylvia Lee, who is the resident historian of um, uh, Boyce Thompson Arboretum. It's part of a project that we're doing to try to promote the work and possible work of um, the CCC, the new CCC, which is a revamp of the um, New Deal effort that we still benefit from today from the 30s under Roosevelt, where uh, young people were put to work uh, doing good things in our various communities and in forests. And uh, so we're visiting now some of the places that benefited from the New Deal CCC in the past to see what the new now called Citizens Climate Corps might do in um, in some of those places in Arizona and around the country. And I'm here uh, this afternoon with Sylvia Lee, who is the uh, historian for the gardens. And um, so, so we're in this beautiful place. My wife and I, Amy and I got uh, married here about 13 years ago. And as we were exchanging our vows, the buzzards were circling around overhead. Uh, but I chose to take that as a good omen. Every relationship has some dead things that need to be consumed and gotten rid of. And that's one of the roles that uh, the vultures play in the natural ecosystem. So uh, the CCC was here at uh, Boyce Thompson Arboretum. Yes. And uh, you uh, include some of that in uh, your stories that you tell about the garden. Yes. Lots of good stories in your book. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. uh, feature that. Um, it's fairly new, 19, 19, 2019, 2019 mm -hmm. was when it was published. So mm -hmm. I look forward to uh, reading Sylvia's book. Um, tell us a little bit uh, from what you know about the CCC uh, here in this area. What, uh, where were they and what were they doing? Uh, the CCC camp was what they call a side camp from the camp at Globe. Those of you who are familiar with Globe know that to the south of there, there's a CCC picnic area. That was actually the main camp. Now the CCC over here were put here for erosion control. They came and asked the Arboretum director if they could borrow a piece of flat land on the very west edge of the Arboretum and the Arboretum director was asked to be the chief horticulturist to help the young man learn how to plant the seeds, how to raise the seedlings, and how to transplant them safely in areas that needed erosion control. So the CCC were here to help the surrounding area, but the Arboretum had already done its own uh, erosion control work as far as that goes. Great. And so if you were to imagine, you know, we've got a group of uh, young people who have employment that uh, we're looking for it and they're looking for opportunities to serve and they're looking for ways that they can benefit uh, the natural world. How would you imagine we might put those young people to work in this place in the desert? Uh, what, what could we teach those young people and those young people could teach us? Well, the gardeners and horticulturists might like to have some of those young people for the same purpose I served when I first started volunteering here, and I was a little more nimble than I am now. I actually helped with all kinds of uh, uh, work in the garden. I would do raking, I would do trimming, uh, uh, just various gardening things. But it does get you in touch with the plants and you do end up learning something about plants and plant life and gaining a respect for the plants. Another thing they could probably be asked to help with is to repair the irrigation system or even to set in new systems. The Arboretum has had to put in a lot of irrigation with this drought. Um, you said that this has historically been a place uh, to try to teach people how to live in the desert with uh, dry land uh, plants and uh, using less water. Mm -hmm. uh, some areas of our state do a better job of that than others. Um, so is that another area where um, 
uh, this place could continue that heritage of teaching us how to live uh, with drought that uh, is going to be a continuing part of uh, climate change. It certainly is, isn't it? Yes, historically, the Arboretum directors and assistant directors and horticulturists tried to teach the public to use um, low water use plants for landscaping. They had some success in this. In fact, they finally taught a number of the nurseries into handling dry land plants. They weren't for many years. And this work could be continued by people represented the Arboretum, by people who are volunteering out here. No. Great, great. Well, thank you very much, Sylvia. You're welcome. So good to uh, get to know you and uh, look forward to reading your book. Good. <laughs>